This is what you will get if you do not meet the requirements of installing Windows 11. Hey viewers, welcome back to another video. This is technical side. I'm so excited to have you here with me. But before we dive into today's topic, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to show you how to bypass the requirements. If you're going to update to Windows 11 23H2 from Windows 10 or Windows 11 22H2 and bypass all the requirements to install the latest version of Windows 11. So I found a new way to do this and easy of course. Alright, I will show you that I do not miss the requirements to install the latest version or any version of Windows 11. As you may see, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. A CPU is a little bit old. Okay, I will show you the PC Health Check app that I do not meet the requirements again. I will check now. As you may see, there the processor is not currently supported for Windows 11. My problem is with the CPU. Okay, I will close this for now. Okay, so the first step you're gonna do guys is to download the ISO from Microsoft's website. Mm, choose any language you want. Okay, hit OK. Download this file. But I have this file already downloaded, so I will not do it again. I will cancel, close this website. All right, go to File Manager, go to Downloads, where the ISO image is downloaded. Click Mount. Go to this PC. You will find this in here as a drive. But remember the the letter, okay? My letter here is G. So check what letter it gives you in here. As you may see, it's mounted as a DVD drive. Let's focus everything and focus on the letter it has mounted in. All right. So the next step is running CMD. Run it as administrator for full control. All right. Hit the letter that have been mounted in for me is G. Hit enter. Now tip dear. We're looking for running this setup exe. Now, tip CD sources is answer again. And now, tip setup setup rep dot exe space slash products space server and hit enter now it will open the starter I will skip updates drivers updates it's checking for my PC you see it's bypassed no requirements as appears I will keep my files and settings and apps. It's next. I 
I will just tap install and leave it until computer restarts. As you see, it's successfully installed. Alright, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this. See you in the next video guys. Bye bye.